We know that we're changing our climate. That's not, that's not a question. Let me say this as clearly as I can. Climate change is a fact. It is man-made. There's a widespread understanding that we are in trouble as a planet. It is a threat. We have to move on this front. You know, I, I, I see no option. We have to do something about it. And there will be a carbon price. And that something includes... That something includes putting a price on carbon. dinner. I'm Robert Vaughn and I'll be your host for this evening. I have a few notes before we begin. For those not familiar with our events here at the Lamplighter, we've been here before. Washrooms are just along the corridor at the top. Uh, there's a cash bar at the back. Um, we have the room until 10 o'clock before they kick us out, so there should be plenty of time at the end of the speeches for mingling and talking and getting to know one another. Um, I'd like to acknowledge a few people here in the audience tonight. First of all, Lloyd Walker, former leader of Freedom Party, here with his wife, Trudy. <laughs> Very pleased to see you both. And also joining us for his first Freedom Party dinner is Dave Plum. Now, Dave, anybody familiar with our Bob and I's Just Right uh, radio program will have heard Dave on at least three occasions so far. Um, he's also written a, a book about climate change called Climate Hope. Um, still in manuscript form, but maybe one of these days we'll get a copy out here. Welcome, Dave. Before we begin the dinner, though, I'd like to make an announcement about three members of Freedom Party who have recently passed away just this year. Ray Monteith died in January. He was an ardent supporter of Freedom Party for many, many years and ran as a candidate for Freedom Party over several elections in St. Thomas. Wayne Forbes represented Freedom Party as a candidate in the Grand Bend area. He passed on September 7th. And of course, former Freedom Party leader Jack Plant passed away in August. All three were friends of many in this room and their contributions to Freedom Party and to, of course, Freedom will be remembered. Following tonight's dinner, we'll hear from our current party leader, Paul McKeever, and following Paul, I'll be introducing our main speaker, Professor Christopher Essex. But before we begin any of these presentations and speaking and dinner, I'd like to ask Paul McKeever to uh, come on up here to the lectern for a special announcement. Paul? Ladies and gentlemen, there is a... Well, in fact, some people who were here before when it was given to me will remember that there's a very special honor that Freedom Party likes to hand out to people who have made a special contribution uh, to the party in some way, shape, or form. We've had a number of people receive these over the years, including not only members and supporters, but speakers and etc. They are the Freedom 200 pins. And the Freedom 200 pins were brought into existence, in fact, by party president Robert Metz's father, uh, and have been handed out since, I believe, the late 80s. I'm not sure how many have gone to date, probably in the range of about 100, so the Keep working, folks, and you'll be next up. I had to work for mine for about, I don't know, <laughs> 20 <laughs> years. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but eventually they come. And uh, tonight we would like to honor someone who has made a, a number of important contributions uh, to everybody's understanding about, especially the nexus between science and politics, someone who tonight is going to be our guest speaker. And uh, that is, of course, Dr. Christopher Essex. Dr. Essex, if you <laughs> This is an unexpected honor, and uh, I'm very grateful, especially to people who support freedom. Thank you. Thank you. You'll notice some books at the back of the room. Uh, one is Happy Trails. It's available free to anybody who grabs one. 
<laughs> they are by Scott Williams Oaks, who sits over here. Scott? Scott's a stand-up comedian, and he's written a short fiction. And you, as you can see by the cover, it's a windmill on fire, so you can guess about, about at least what a subtext of the topic is. And of course, Professor Essex's book is available at the back. It's $20, which, by the way, is a steal. It's a first edition. It's gone into two printings, right? It's a first edition. If you two want to editions, get this, hmm? as opposed to two printings, two editions. Two editions. I see. Okay. And um, if you want this on Amazon, you can pay up to $170 for it. It's very rare to get a first edition of this book. So he will be happy to autograph it for you. And uh, there, back there, if you want to see Bob Metz, if you've got a uh, visa, credit card, or whatever, he'll take care of that. Cash you can give to the treasurer, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> Before we begin our dinner, which will begin uh, just as soon as I sit down, I'd like to propose our traditional toast. So I'd like to ask you all to rise with glass in hand, please. To the freedoms we now enjoy and to freedoms lost to be regained. To be freedom. Bon appetit.